Okay, now let's go ahead and assume that you have submitted your product for approval and it actually got approved, so that way your plugin is ready to go. So the only thing you would need to do now, you will have a section here called Approved, and your product will be here. So once all you have to do is open that product, and you can go down and you'll have an option down here for Publish. So you can either publish, the, publish it, or for example, I can hide it, which will basically make it not visible through the marketplace. So if you were ready to go and you think, okay, I have all my pictures set up, my thumbnails, all the information filled out, it's priced accordingly, I'm ready to go. All you have to do is hit publish, and then you're good to go. Your plugin is now on the marketplace. Next up, let's say you have already submitted your product. It's up on the marketplace, everything's going good and you fix some bugs or maybe you add some new features or something like that to it and you want to submit that update to the marketplace so others can have the updated plugin so basically you can go from version 1.0 to 1.1 or version 2 something like that so all you have to do is I'll actually go down here because i'm on version 1.0 i believe all you have to do is go to your product in the portal go all the way down to the bottom and you'll see instead of sub or add new version or anything like that, you'll see submit file update. So you would click this. It's going to ask you if you want to navigate to the page. You hit continue. Hopefully I don't screw anything up. And let's say uh, Unreal Engine 5 comes to a full release. So you want to support Unreal Engine 5. Well, in that case, you would hit create new version. Here you would just fill out the same information. You would add your link to the download. And you would add the engine version for for, or sorry, for 5.0, and you would go that route. Now, let's say you only want to, you're, that didn't happen, and you want to update version, you know, whichever engine versions you already support. Well, all you have to do is simply change the project file link. So in order to actually click submit, you have to change the project file link for at least one of these. So if I add a D, I can now click submit. And that's it. If I revert it back, it goes away. So you would just update or upload your new version. So let's say I change this to, you know, version 2. Point, or let's just say I've updated this to version 2.0. So I would update, drag and drop, upload this to uh, Google Drive, get the link for it, paste the link into here, and then do the same thing for whichever all my engine versions. Once that's done, I would hit submit, and then it goes into the approval process just like it did when you go through to actually submit the project or to submit your product the first time however usually when you go to actually submit updates i have found con at least somewhat consistently that they are a little bit faster to get approved and on top of that it is a lot easier for them to get approved i have had all my plugins fail several times on the initial approval however i have never had a plugin fail for an update so they don't dive nearly as deep into it as on the initial approval they just kind of do a rough skim over i guess if you add any new major features they can see that and all that fun stuff so yeah that pretty much wraps it up so i think that covers just about everything in relation to creating a plugin all the way to getting it up on the marketplace for sale uh, i guess i can show you how to view your sales really quick so let me set that up Alrighty, so next up, here's how you can view how, basically how you can see what you've sold. So I don't know if it's just dedicated to my local time or not, but basically once it hits midnight for me, I will be able to see the previous day's sales. So once it hits midnight and the date goes from December 9th to December 10th, I will be able to see any sale that I have made for December 9th. So this is, I am Eastern Standard Time, so you can judge based upon that as to when you will see yours update. But in order to see that, all you have to do is go to Reports, and you can see your sales. So here's the start date and the end date that you would want to see by. You can go by day or by month. So in this case, I'm going by day. So this is starting at the start of November all the way to yesterday, which was December 8th. So you can change the date at which you want to view your reports. So in my case, I'm going to set it to December, and I will do December 6th, and hit Submit. And that will allow me to see any sale that I have made from December 6th to December 8th. And that works for 
all of it. Same thing goes for year. You can see all your total amounts and same thing for monthly. So for example, it shows the day. So on December 6th, I had sold my ultimate FPS template plugin with runtime multiplayer level editor for the base price of $149.99 and I have sold one copy of it. So if I had sold, let's say, two copies of this, it would show under net sales uh, three, like, whatever $149.99 is times two. So basically, this is your total. And then after you would go to and actually receive your payment, which you don't get daily, by the way, or weekly, you get it once a month, what you would do, or what it would happen was, they would take out their 12%, and you would get the remainder of that. So let's see. So we take 100 or whatever your net sales price is. So I take 149.99. I take 12% off and hit calculate and it shows my final price is 139 or 131.99. So basically that means Epic took $18 from my price and I received 131 or roughly $132. And that is because Epic takes uh 88 or sorry, you keep 88% of whatever you make. So that means you make a sale. Let's say you sell something for $100. Well, Epic takes 12% of that. So they get 12% out of that 100 and you keep the rest. So that goes for your total sales. Now, as far as the actual dates of which you get paid, uh, this has changed recently. It used to be like once every 45 or so days. Now I believe it is monthly. Uh, let me go ahead and double check on the dates really quick. All right, so I just checked my email, and now I am consistently receiving the payments that I have made on the 29th of each month. So that means come December 29th, I should receive the money that I have made for November. So you're one month behind, and you get paid once a month. Now, if you do not make $100, so if you make under $100, you will not get paid for that month. So let's say in October, you have made... $80. And then in November, you made $30. So for October, you would not get paid at all. So when it comes down, so when November 29th rolled around, you would not receive a payment. However, because you received $30 in November, what would happen is you have made a total of 30, let me count real quick, 80, 90, 100. So you made a total of $110 between uh, October and November. So that means you finally made above $100. So by the time that December 29th rolled around, you would receive the $110 that you got from October and November. So that's roughly how the payment setup works for all this. And uh, yeah, you can find more, obviously, if you go to Marketplace, Marketplace Guidelines, you can kind of see a brief overview of what all is touched through here. Uh, yeah, here's a section for payouts, so it kind of gives you a rough idea. So payouts are issued within 30 days after the end of the calendar month. So again, I always get them on the 29th. And the funds are rolled over and combined with the following month's funds until the $100 threshold is met or the end of the calendar year is reached. So if you made, I guess, $80 in December or November and nothing in December, by the time, I guess, January 1st maybe rolled around, you would receive that $80. At least that's my assumption of it. So here you can see Epic retains the 12% that I was referring to of the net sales. So whatever you make, Epic keeps 12% of it. And that pretty much sums it up. Uh, the only, well, actually now it shows individual sales. The only thing I can think of now is how to actually, how do you set your product to go on sale? So that's what I'm going to show you in the next video. And I think that pretty much concludes this series and touches on just about everything about it. So I'm going to cover individual sales as well as the Epic event sales because this one here I actually need to apply for because there is one for December. So that is going to be all for this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for patrons, as well as you get early access to pretty much all of my videos such as this one. If you have any questions or anything like that, Feel free to join my Discord that is also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.